Dear student, today we will learn subtraction with borrowing or with regrouping. Okay, so see the example first subtract 18 from 32. Okay, so first arrange that numbers into columns. Okay, so here two digit numbers means here ones and tens. Okay, so first decide which is the greatest number and in subtraction. You have to always subtract smaller number from bigger number okay so first write the bigger number upside and under that number write the smaller number while writing the numbers into columns okay so here in between 18 and 32 32 is the greatest number okay so write that 32 upside and under that number write this smaller number that is 18 okay so here write 18 now we have arranged that numbers into the columns and now subtract and always start from one place okay so here one place from one place start to subtract okay so here 2 minus 8 okay so here we can see 8 is greater than 2 and in subtraction we can't subtract greater number from smaller number okay so first regroup these three tens regroup these three tens into two tens and ten ones okay regroup these three tens into two tens and ten ones so write these two tens here and add this 10 ones into the 2 ones okay so 10 ones plus 2 ones 12 ones so cut this 2 and here right 12 okay now 12 minus 8 it is possible so 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 okay 12 by using backward counting you will get this okay 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 okay then 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 okay so 14 is the difference between 32 and 18 okay so this is the example of borrowing then next example c subtract 56 from 70 okay so first arrange the number into columns okay here which is the greater number in between 56 and 70 that is 70 so write that 70 upside and under that number write the number smaller number okay so under that number write 56 now we have arranged that numbers into column and now we will subtract we will start from one place okay here 0 minus 6 it is not possible because 0 is smaller than 6 in another way we can say 6 is greater than 0 so it is not possible so regroup this 7 tens okay 7 tens regroup into 6 tens and 10 ones okay so this 6 tens right here okay and this 10 ones add into 0 ones so we will get 10 ones okay now subtract the columns 10 minus 6 4 okay and 6 minus 5 1 so 14 is the difference between 70 and 56 okay next subtract 19 from 91 in between 19 and 91 which is the greatest number that is 91 so write that number upside and 19 is the smallest number means that right under the 91 okay so arrange numbers into column 91 right upside and subtract 19 from 90 one okay we have arranged numbers subtract now okay one minus nine it is possible no because nine is greater than one 
okay so 1 minus 9 is not possible so regroup this 9 tens regroup this 9 tens into 8 tens and 10 ones okay so this 8 tens right here and 10 ones add into this 1 1 okay so 1 plus 10 11 okay now we have regroup now we can subtract the numbers okay so 11 minus 9 11 minus minus 9 2 then 8 minus 1 7 so 72 is the difference between 91 and 19 okay so like this you have to regroup and subtract example subtraction with regrouping so you know the meaning of subtraction subtraction is the taking away or minus smaller number from bigger number and find the difference okay so solve the next example 88 minus 69 okay so start from one place here 8 minus 9 okay so here 8 is smaller number and 9 is bigger number so we can't subtract 9 from 8 so regroup this 8 tens into 7 tens and 10 ones and that 10 ones add into this 8 so we will get 18 ones okay so right here 18 now it is possible to subtract 9 from 18 okay so to subtract 9 from 18 count backward and see the difference okay so 18 minus 9 is equal to 9 because we know if we add 2 times 9 then we will get 18 because 9 to 0 18 correct so 18 minus 9 is equal to 9 okay here 7 minus 6 okay so we have learned the property okay if we subtract the before number of the given number then we will get the difference of 1 okay so in between 7 and 6 there is a difference of 1 okay so 7 minus 6 1 so 19 is the difference between 88 and 69 next example 72 minus 58 okay 2 minus 8 not possible because 2 is small number and 8 is big number than 2 so regroup this 7 tens into 6 tens and 10 ones and that 10 ones add into this 2 ones so we will get 12 ones okay now subtract 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 okay 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 then 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 14 is the answer next 88 minus 69 8 minus 9 not possible so regroup this 8 into 7 tens and 10 ones and that 10 ones add into the 8 ones we will get 18 ones now it is possible 18 minus 9 9 to 0 18 if we add 2 times 9 then we will get 18 okay so 18 minus 9 is equal to 9 so right here 9 and 7 minus 6 1 so 19 1 9 19 is the difference between 88 and 69 okay so these are very simple examples but you should know how to regroup you should know how many ones is equal to 110 how many tens is equal to 100 if you know these things then it is very easy to solve these examples okay Thank